I'm going to teach you how to set this up, and we're all going to do it really quickly. So let's crunch this in in five minutes or less, all right? First things first, go to Steam. Download this app here, download this app here, and download this app here. You can get this app too, but it's optional. Afterwards, you're going to need to go into your quest, complete the initial setup for the quest, and then go to the MetaQuest store and search for Steam Link, or just click Apps at the top, and then click on Steam. It should be within the top five. Download it, install it, and then when you run it, you should try to, it will search for a all computers on your local network. And then you will be provided a code. That code you will need to enter on your computer that you are attempting to connect to. After that, Steam Link should run and it should work smoothly. At this point, when you're using your Oculus Quest controllers, you will not have any problems. You can use it natively. If you would like to use index fingers like me, we will do a little bit more setup later down the line. So, first things first, get all of these things installed, and then let's jump over to desktop real quick. Okay, so now they're on desktop, run Steam VR and connect your headset for the first time. After you're connected, go onto your Steam VR. You don't need to be in your headset for this. You can click on settings and then click on Steam Link and make sure to show advanced settings. And you will need to enable OSC. Share eye tracking data to other apps on this PC. The hand tracking pass through is optional, but it will allow you to have hand tracking. So you'll be able to use your physical hands rather than controllers to play. And also include share face tracking data to other apps on this PC. Afterwards, I recommend leaving all as is. You can set these settings here if you would like. I have them set manually for my network as we are doing this wirelessly. If the router is not in the same room as yours, I recommend that you keep the bandwidth somewhere low or just leave on auto. Once you've done that, just open up VRC face tracking. When you launch it for the first time in VR chat, you will see this window at the bottom, letting you know that it's now sending OSC data. If you don't see the pop-up, just open up your little action menu and go to options, go to OSC, and then just set it to enable. You will need to install your module over here. So install. And then you will need to find the Steam Link face tracking module. And then click Install. Then go back to Home on the top left. Once it's installed, you should see it like this. And you can just minimize it and put it out of the way. So now we need to open up PlaySpace Calibrator. Once it's open, it will look like this for you. If you have any controllers or trackers already turned on, they will appear here. I recommend only using one tracker. As if you have multiple, it can be confusing to identify which one is which. I recommend only turning on one tracker, the tracker you intend to put on top of the Quest Pro. So what I've done for my Quest Pro is I've just hot glued a uh, Tundra tracker to the top of it. I can still reach the eye level adjustment in there. And it's a very sturdy setup. It's very reliable. I've never had any problems with it. So. Once you click start calibration, you just want to move your headset around a bit. You don't need to wear it. As long as the headset is awake, it should be tracking. Once it's done, you can then click on continuous calibration. Once that is done, you only need to click hide tracker so it doesn't appear within VR chat and it tries to bind to your shoulder when you are calibrating. And then you can just minimize it. Don't close it, however, as it will break your play space if you close it. You will always need it running to have your play spaces connected. Okay, that's pretty much everything done. If you need any help, just go right in the comments, the question or problem that you're having, and I'll help you out as soon as I can. If this video helped you and actually worked out for you, you should click one of these two at the top. Thank you.